Hi there, this is Kathy Barker from Software Solutions and you're watching a series of videos on the essentials in Microsoft Excel Level 1. We've just done the first exercise, now what I'd like to do is demonstrate how to do the second exercise. So I'm going to take you to the sheet called Test. In the sheet called Test, if I just hold the control key and zoom in, you can see that we've got these people listed in A2 to A9. And the first thing we need to do is actually enter the marks that they got. So 43, 63, 66, 72, 75, 42, oops, 42, 61, and 77. I'd also like you to enter the test two marks, 59, 75, 64, 25, and always using your arrow key to move down, never using your mouse to adjust your position, just simply using your number pad if you've got it, and your down arrow to take you down each cell. Nearly there, 39, 55, and 65. Once you've entered these marks, the next thing I need you to do, and this is an exercise in percentages, in C2, I need you to work out what percentage Sue got in the first test. Now, I have to share with you that the test was out of 77. In fact, I have to share with you that test 1, test 2, and test 3 were all out of 77. So if, 40, if Sue got 43 out of 77, I need to see that as a percentage. Now, percentage is always dividing a smaller figure by a larger figure. So you get the proportion or the percentage. So in this case, in C2, I'm going to start with an equals. Formula and function always begins with an equals. I'm going to click on B2, and I'm going to divide it by 77. And when you press enter, she basically got 56%. Now, if I pressed enter and I didn't get percentage, that would be a matter of then just hitting this percent button. So this percent button will format it as percentage if it doesn't already. Now if I click on the 56% and double click the thin black cross, I'll automatically work out what everybody else got. Now let's go to E2. In test 2, Sue got 59 out of 77. So I need to put a formula in E2 that says equals D2 divided by 77. And if I press enter, 59 out of 77 equates to 77%. I click on the 77% and I double click the thin black cross. The third test, she got 76 out of 77. In G2 equals F2 divided by 77 gives you 99%. Click on the 99%, go for the thin black cross in the bottom right corner, and double click to fill it down. And you've effectively calculated what percentage each person got in each test. Now, what I'd like to show in C11 is what was the average percentage for the first test? Did they find that first test relatively easy or relatively hard? So in C11, we'll go equals AV. That will trigger all the functions that begin with AV and allow us to double click average. From there, we can swing over the test one percentages because we want the average for the test one percent. C2 to C9 and enter. So the average was 81%. They found that first test relatively simple with the exception of a couple who got less than um, 81% such as Matt, Carol and Sue. So then what we do in E11 is we work out what was the average for test 2. Did they find test 2 harder or easier than test 1? Equals AV. Double click average and then swing from E2 to E9. When you press enter the average for test 2 was 68%. So Test 2 was significantly harder than Test 1. Then if we go to G11 and work out the average for Test 3 equals AV, double click Average, and swing from G2 to G9. And they found the third test slightly harder. It's a little bit insignificant in terms of the difference between the second and the third, but it's significant between the first and the second. 
Now I want these percentages to have this sort of blue look and bold look um, and borders that we've got here going in in column C. Click on say C3 and I want to paint this look onto these three cells. So you click on C3 and over here on the home tab in the ribbon under cut and copy is what we call the format painter and it allows us to paint that look on C3 onto other cells. So we double click the format painter, we click 81, 68, 66 and they automatically get formatted to look like C3 and our mouse even looks like a paintbrush. We are finished so we turn it off by giving it a click. So when I rest, let me click back on C3, when I rest on this button what does it say? Like the look of a particular selection, C3, you can apply that look to other content. Select the content with the formatting you like, C3, click the format painter and then click something else to automatically apply the formatting. FYI, to apply the formatting to multiple places such as 81%, 68%, 66%, 66% then you double click the format painter. By double clicking the format painter you can apply that format, C3, to multiple places in a spreadsheet. Alright, let's add some more average functions. I know the averages for the tests, but in H2 I need to know what was Sue's average mark. Not an average percent, but an average mark. So I need to know what was the average of this mark, this mark, and this mark. And the difference with this function and all the other functions we've dealt with so far is what you want to average is not in a nice range. It's scattered as three independent cells. So how do we deal with that? We go to H2, we start with equals, and we start with AV, triggering the average function. Double click average. Now, we can't just drag and select a range of cells. And look at this little visual cue. Number one comma, number two comma. Hmm. So where's your first number? Here. B2. Then you press comma and that holds it. So you can click on D2 comma and that holds D2 and then you click on F2 but don't do another comma. The comma is read as an and. Average B2 and D2 and F2. We don't want another and on the end because then it will divide the total of those three figures by four and not by three, which will cause you to have a low average. So don't do another comma. Some of you will say, I'll just hold the control key and choose those three cells, and that will work as well. But if what you want to average those three cells is very sparse and scattered, holding the control key is a nightmare. Just press comma, and then you can just click the next one, comma, and then just click the next one, without having to hold a control key and trying to scroll to the next one and the next one. Anyway, I'm going to press enter. 59 and a third. So I double click, click on it, double click, fill it down. Now I want to round these off and what we learned in an earlier video when we did exercise one is this button here is decrease decimal. Every time I click it, I drop a decimal point. And so I'm rounding them off to zero decimal places. So she basically got, so that is, basically got an average of 59 out of 77, which is not too bad. Now let's work out the average percentage. In I2 equals AV, double click average. Click on the first percent, comma. Click on the second percent, comma. Click on the third percent, the end. Press enter. 77% was her average. Double click the thin black cross while you're sitting on 77% and it'll automatically fill down. And it works out everybody's percentages. So everybody did reasonably well. They got over 50% um, if you don't have high expectations. But what was the average for the entire group across all three tests? In I11 equals AV, double click average, give me the average of the averages, and we have got 72%. So overall, quite a good score for this particular group. Now I want this to look blue, like 85%, so I click on 85%. I'll click on the Format Painter, I'll click on 72, and I'll paint that format. I didn't need to double click the Format Painter because I was only applying the formatting to one cell. 
If I'm applying it to multiple cells, I have to double click the Format Painter. I hope that helps with the exercise too. I probably took it a little bit further than the actual requirement from the notes, um, but I hope that that sheds some light on working with percentages and working with averages. Like and subscribe and come back for the third exercise to see how we tackle that.